PorcupineRealEstate.com. Um. Uh, scenarios such as these do not seem to have uh, unfolded in obvious large scales uh, thus far in the current uh, state of New Hampshire freedoms in assault weaponry or the narcotic tolerance seat at Lisbon. We may hope that they would, uh, that they would not unfold in a less restricted, independent New Hampshire. But precaution is a better guarantor than hope. And for our scenario to be instructive, it should be severe. Pressured by the UN, threatened by the NEU, it would be well for us to already have ameliorative countermeasures in place, and now is the time to entertain them. And I was having a discussion, uh, well, it was really more of, a, of an email discussion with uh, Anna Stanitz, who, uh, whose father led the, uh, the initially secret a Slovene referendum of, um, I believe it was a, a 1990, perhaps a year earlier, I, I'm, not, I'm not certain. And she said uh, that the, uh, there is never a moment that is too soon uh, to contemplate the potential uh, uh, difficulties and opportunities provided by new independence, newly won. As she said, this was particularly the case with monetary affairs. But we are, we are going adrift. We are going adrift, and must, we must, return to our um, a fixation. Um, so, uh, it was made in this Slovenia. Slovenia is instructive uh, because, um, because uh, in 1989. Uh, no one uh, was really even talking much about freedom or independence, and uh, uh, two years later, they had it. So, there you go. <coughs> In, anyway, um, mm, seems to be message about precaution is better guarantor than hope, be pressured by the UN, maintenance by... So, uh, mm, countermeasures. It would be well to have a, to already have ameliorative uh, countermeasures in place, and uh, now is the time to entertain them. For every danger and every foreign demand, uh, there is uh, a novel, a counter-expedient. One uh, not yet tried in full by any state. The maintenance of high reputation throughout the solar system entire uh, could be effected by enhancing and nurturing our tourist culture. Tourist culture. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> um, tourist culture. Uh, that of welcome uh, to the welcomable. Uh, this is uh, a long been interfered with by uh, the federal regimen of uh, immigration crackdown and welfare enticement. It often, uh, it often seems that all the worst are lured in and subsidized. All the best are roadblocked and smothered with vexatious expenses, maddening paperwork, and unresponsive controllers. The world uh, should be uh, uh, the world should be let in easily, given the fullest access to our liberties, uh, but handed uh, no alms. The impoverished masses of Mississippi are already at liberty to deluge us with destitute immigration. But when uh, did we uh, see them here lost? When did we even hear of their presence here once? They are not here in any noticeable or bothersome way. But even if they were, uh, we would be wrong in, uh, in rooting out, rooting them out, root, rooting them out for their origin or persecuting uh, all who might be them. So it is with our globe. We need visitors and immigrants. The more who have adopted or toured this bastion, 
and learned its um, learned its charms, the more will feel righteous fury if it is assailed. Our glowing green hills, now barely noticed, could almost as soon as we wish it become the primary destination for uh, for those Manhattan stationed ambassadors, of which there are many. Our glowing green hills now, barely noticed again, could uh, almost as soon as we wish it become the primary destination for those Manhattan stationed ambassadors, of whom there are many, and from whom we would want goodwill. There is uh, no major reason, save our laws, uh, why it should not be so. Where else but the, the free state, shorn of its malum prohibitor, would they be uh, officially allowed the forbidden but unharmful patronage of brothel, of ecstasy consumption, and of peaceable rocket launcher practice? If any abuses uh, those freedoms to the initiated harm of others, uh, then let uh, them be dealt with for that. Uh, not for the being here, not for the undertaking of the of the victimless act. We have uh, we have seen how the relative freedoms and openness of the small Gulf Emirates have kept or helped to keep them in the friendly sentiments of Wahhabist ruler and revolutionary dictator alike. Over the long, dark passage through the Middle Eastern night. The freest of them, perhaps, bearing the best. Who transacted the Live Free or Die State's first home sale for Bitcoin? Well, it was this guy, Mark Borden at PorcupineRealEstate.com. He and his experienced team of professional, responsible activists want to get you in the perfect New Hampshire home. Escape that authoritarian spit pit where you're living now. Visit PorcupineRealEstate.com.